We often use the same tools when it comes to Fluent. We use the cuts, the slice, the inset, but I'm going to show you five unknown tools that can help you in your modeling process. Become Fluent is a very powerful tool. It allows you to transform any plane object into a Fluent object. It could be a plane, a text, a SVG. The only requirement is to be completely flat. You might need to clean up the mesh a bit to prevent artifacts later. One really cool trick is to import a SVG, convert it into a mesh, scale it if needed, apply the scale, and use the become fluent. You can then use all the fluent tools like the solidify or the second bevel. You can then use this object as a boolean and have your logo engraved into an object. Sometimes we want to reproduce a cut we just made in all the places of the model. So we try to make them match the size, the bevel and other settings. You can memorize the different values of all the adjustments and apply them on the new cut. Or you can duplicate the cutter and move it around and make a boolean operation. The duplicate boolean is doing all of that in one click. Select the boolean, click the duplicate button and move your mouse where you want it. You can rotate the cut by pressing R. Click to validate the position and you can then duplicate it in other places. Once you're done, right click to validate all the cutters. The extract boolean feature is a tool I'm using on every project. It's a bit hidden as you need to hold shift while clicking on the duplicate boolean button. Unlike a basic slice, it allows you to make a separate object with the same shape as the cutter so you can move it a bit in and out and change its settings. The extract boolean is perfect tool to make pieces of your model nested into each other. With this feature, you can easily make a vent. Make your cut, extract the boolean, move it a bit inside, cut some blades, and rotate by 45 degrees. In some cases, the number of polygon matters. Take gaming asset, for example. You might need a high poly and a low poly version of the same object. One really cool feature in Fluent is the model resolution. Fluent is calculating automatically the resolution based on the size of your cuts. You can change these settings and make your model more or less dense in terms of poly count. Make it high poly, auto-complete the object, unhide the Fluent object, change the resolution, and auto-complete it again to have another version of your object with low poly. In the same category and especially for optimized game assets, the Slice Cleaner tool is a must-have. Whenever you make a slice, it creates faces inside the object that the player will not be able to see anyway. With the Slice Cleaner, you can delete those faces in order to optimize the poly count and also the UV unwrapping. Use it when you're done modeling. Auto-complete the Fluent object, join all the pieces of your model together by selecting them and pressing Ctrl J and click on the Slice Cleaner button. If you have issues with modeling rounded objects, I explain everything you need to know in this step-by-step -step tutorial. 